Hello guys, it is Lorenzo filling in for Cyber Ace today, and I'm just doing a quick overview on iOS 5 Revision 2. So, there's not too much things to note with the new revision, except for one of the main things is it's much faster, snappier, and it's just much better coded, I guess you could say. Um, I'm also going to be going over the some, or some of the features of iOS 5. And one of them to note is iCloud. Now with iCloud, you have 5 gigs of storage. And you can sync your mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photo stream, and find your iPad settings. You can also buy more in the future, but I do not believe it is working yet. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, you can also select it to sync to uh, iCloud, and you uh, your account comes default with five gigs of storage. Um, some other things to mention is the Twitter integration. I don't have it logged in yet, but um, the new iOS five Twitter is integrated into everything. So, for example. You can install it, and once you do that, in your notifications, which I have none now because this is a fresh revision install, um, in your in your notifications, it'll tell you things. Also, a new thing with iOS 5 is messages. Come on now. And with messages, you can add contacts, whether it be a uh, an actual phone number or someone's Apple ID and they can if whatever I whatever iOS 5 device they're using they can talk to you and they can do that and also if you have a new message on that it will also pop up in your notifications bar and it'll pop up a small screen at the very top so it won't distract your view it'll just notify you pretty much. Another awesome thing about the new iOS 5 is the newsstand. Now what you can do with this is you can download, it's like the bookstore, but it's for magazines. So you have all your magazines and currently it is not yet updated to work. So that's something to note for them in the future. Also, Game Center. One of the new updates for Game Center is you can download and buy games from the game center. So no longer you have to find the game or you should get see a friend's game that you want to buy and uh, you have to go find it on the app store. With this, with the new revision of the game center, you can click on your friend's game and download it right from there. Uh, another thing to mention that's really really nice is the keyboard. So this is the standard widescreen keyboard and now what you can do with this is you can make it split screen. So if you're holding it like on a bus or something and you're typing and you don't you're not able to put it on your lap, you can type with two thumbs like this. So no longer do you have to fiddle fiddle with it like this while while you're sitting down. And that is something that I love and it's so easy to get used to. Also, one thing to note, it's Friday. It's not really anything to note. Um, also, wireless sync. I do not know if it is updated. It should be, but I have yet to find this. And or it's in it's in the code. But wireless sync, what it does is so when your iPad or any iOS five device is plugged in to a uh, power source, whether it be a wall charger. It doesn't have to be plugged into the computer, but if it's plugged into any kind of power source and you're in range of your wireless network that your computer is on, that it's currently synced to, it will automatically sync all your data, or all your data to it, like all your apps, all new music that you've downloaded, etc. I believe you can turn this off, so if you don't, if you don't want that to happen, and... Also, another nice feature with iOS 5 
is the new uh, Safari. And so now, with the new Safari, we have tab browsing. So let's go to Newegg. And here's Google. And now we can go to that, pictures. If we go to a new tab, we can do, say, Best Buy. And now with that, so you have these tabs, normally you press a button down here, or up here, you go to a different tab. But this is much, it's a seamless design, so you just tap that, and there. You can also drag it over there so that this one's in the first priority, for example, and that one's second. You can have a mass number of tabs open. I believe the max is around 10. So, thank you for watching, and subscribe.